What's up, fight fans? This is Kirk DeVille with Counterpunch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Joe, the juggernaut, Joyce. Joe Joyce questions Daniel Dubois' title shot. He says, must be something going on. And he said this, he said he hasn't got the experience. And now all of a sudden, he's got the WBA regular, but he hasn't picked up that experience. He's boxing outside. He probably hasn't warmed up properly and he's done his knee and he looked terrible. I was at the top of the stadium, went to go and get something to eat and drink. We had to rush back and I thought, oh my God, he's effing chinned three counts in the first round. What's going on? That would have been embarrassing if he looked or if he got knocked out by him and he's still getting a title, a shot at the title must be something going on. And let me stop right there and let me counterpunch. Joe Joyce is questioning, first of all, uh, the opportunity that Daniel Dubois had. Now, I, uh, when we all know <clears throat> how I feel about this, I feel that uh, Daniel Dubois um, got some type of help. You know, it was some uh, some type of weird protection plan for Daniel Dubois because the way Kevin Ledena kind of let out or let up off the gas and he stopped being aggressive and he just kind of coasted, you know, it just may, it just led you to believe like, okay, something's going on and someone's not allowed to do what they probably could have done. And they showed you that they could do. Okay. So at the very first beginning of the fight, he got chinned. But the thing is, you don't, you don't expect anyone to not be able to take a punch. Then Dubois got caught with a shot that he couldn't take. So he went down. Now, if his leg buckled or tightened or ripped or whatever, torn or, you know, that's that. OK, at the end of the day. But Daniel Dubois, you know, was almost in trouble for real. <laughs> now, <clears throat> for the experience factor, Joe Joyce was mentioning, I have to agree with him because we don't know what Daniel Dubois has actually learned from his first and only loss. Joe Joyce gave him to him. He gave that loss to him and. We still don't know if he's learned anything. We don't know if he was able to correct getting hit again and again and again with a jab or with that single punch, which was a jab. We don't know that. We haven't seen if he was able to adjust. We haven't seen that he was able to tighten up on his defense. All we've seen him do in the last few fights is do the same thing we saw him do each and every other fight besides the defeat was go in there, throw hard hard combinations, land a few, get a guy out of there, and that's that. Um, So we don't know if he got the experience. So I do agree with Joe Joyce. Now, a lot of people may be hating or say Joe Joyce is hating on Daniel Dubois, but um, I think <clears throat> at this point, Joe Joyce should have realized that he wasn't the premier guy. OK, the opportunity that he had this title shot, which is on the WBA uh, end. OK, well, yes, he's getting an opportunity for the world title shot, but the regular title was also a result of management and promotional power. OK, Frank Warren put Daniel Dubois into position to get the WBA regular from Trevor Bryant which that was Mahmoud Char's uh, title, if you guys can remember. But Don King messed him over and uh, Trevor Bryant ended up fighting whoever. I can't remember who he fought for it. OK, so he got it. And then Daniel Dubois, you know, Frank Warren got Daniel Dubois in position to fight him. And then those guys fought. And then now Daniel Dubois has the WBA regular. OK, so um, that I can't like Joe Joyce can't really be mad over because he's also uh co-promoted by Frank Warren. You know, I know Sam Jones was his manager at the beginning because, because, you know, Sam was, <laughs> Sam was like, this is my guy. You know, you're talking about my guy, right? <laughs> I love that guy. He's very animated, but you know, he wasn't that, 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 that selected 
or that chosen guy, you know, from Queensbury, Daniel Dubois was. Daniel Dubois was like the answer to Anthony Joshua on that side because he was young, he was undefeated, he was knocking people, spark out. He had a rumor of knocking Anthony Joshua out. A lot of people verified that was true. So this guy had a history with Anthony Joshua and he was on the other side of the street. So Joe Joyce can't really get mad about that, but you can see, I think that's what he was referring to as well. Now, this WBA world or super world title opportunity for him, you know, that's another question. And of course, I think the reason why he got that position is be, uh, is based on and reflected on how the fight went. The fight was weird and it was like it was or orchestrated in a very, very bizarre way, you know, because of that reason. So for Joe Joyce to say, hey, some, must be something going on. Yeah, there must be something going on. At least we know at this point, Joe Joyce has came out and said, yo, I believe the, the, the fix was in this fight because there's no way in Hades a guy's going to knock you out or drop you three times. And then all of a sudden he's going to let off you and allow you uh, and allow you to knock him out. That does not that's not going to happen. I don't think that fight reflected Danny Dubois heart. That's the narrative that people want to push, but that's not the truth. So at the end of the day, Daniel Dubois got saved by the stipulations for him winning anyway, by dive. But anyway, you guys tell me what you think of Joe Joyce, Triple J, saying that Triple D is on the take, is um, a lot of home cooking, a lot of corruption is going on with the WBO opportunity. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been Counterpunch. Peace.